Welcome to the podcast for Starter Kit Tour. I'm your host, Jack McDade. Please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times because this is the internet and I have no idea where they would go if you fell out. All right, let's get right into it. Podcaster is a starter kit from Statomic, from us. Uh, it is a paid, it, right now it is actually the only paid kit and we wanted to do that on purpose. So uh, here's how you can go ahead and get installed and then I'm going to give you a demo of all the things that you can do with it. Let's go. In your command line, do static new, assuming you've installed the static CLI tool. Uh, name of your site, we're gonna call it Plopcaster, and then the name of the package, which is static starter kit podcaster. It's gonna ask for your license key because this is a paid kit, and we're gonna paste in that license key. Don't try to use it, it's only gonna use this one time. It's gonna go ahead and install Statomic, then it'll install the starter kit and any of its dependencies, get everything all set up, and when it's done, it will prompt you to create your first user. All right, now we can create that first user. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. Dave. All right, now we're gonna change directories into the Plopcaster. Uh, we're gonna valet open, which is easier than typing it in. And here we go. Here is our basic site. Starts with a couple of uh, demo entries, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and clear that stuff out and start our own podcast, change out the artwork, and show artwork. So, control panel uh, goes here, slash CP. We've created a user, which we can put in here, and we're gonna log in. Awesome. All right, so there's this little widget right here, which kind of walks you through all the different things you're gonna wanna do when you are starting a new uh, site with this starter kit. So the first is gonna set up your podcast. This is uh, a link to the globals and is the podcast global. And here you can name your podcast, you can set your cover art, give it a description, choose what kind of a show type it is, whether it's sort of by newest, it's episodic or serial, like the serial podcast where they're all in order. Choose your categories, choose your keywords, uh, and all this stuff. All these things go into your XML that drives the, the RSS feed and uh, gets submitted to iTunes and all that stuff. Next, you're gonna wanna go, and I'll go back to the little dashboard widget here. You can create new episode, you can uh, tweak your site theme, and then here's some help on how to submit to the various most popular podcast networks. Um, this is pretty cool, you don't need pro mode, uh, for this starter kit. So Statomic is totally free. It's just the starter kit. Um, you can tweak your site theme here, which is another global. You can set uh, different uh, links to social medias. You can pick from different icons and we've preloaded that with a bunch of the most popular ones. And uh, you can also control your colors. So if you were to go ahead and choose, like maybe we wanna use a, a blue, color scheme and then choose like a light blue and then maybe a darker blue over here like that go ahead and save that go back to the home page and now your uh, site theme and also your color bar um, in the player is going to match uh, you can use that you know to match your cover art or whatever you want to do and uh, it's just a nice little detail all right, next, you know, we're in the collections. Here's where you're going to manage your episodes. Inside here, you'll be able to create a new episode, give it a title, an episode number, uh, upload your MP3 file, choose what episode type it is. Usually it's gonna be full, but there are a couple of special types that iTunes respects, which is a trailer, kind of coming before the site or your uh, podcast starts. And it'll make sure those kind of get buried after you get episodes going. And then there are bonuses if you need to insert extra episodes in between episodes, but keep your count the same. Uh, next, you've got a summary. Your show notes can all go here. You can choose to override your um, artwork on the global level, your podcast level artwork with episode specific artwork. And then again, mark any episodes as explicit if you need to. There are also advanced settings, like block this episode from iTunes or Google Play. Probably not use that option, but as they are supported in the spec, we've uh, integrated them here. Next, you wanna make sure you are flipping on publish when you're going to launch a new episode. The, they do default, the episodes default to unpublished. That way you have a chance to 
work on all of this metadata and stuff before it goes out there. Um, next, another section for you to manage would be uh, back in the main collections, you've got this links section. And links are to the various feeds. They'll be here on the homepage or the subscribe page. And they are ways for you to link out to uh, like Pocket Caster or whatever I love podcast cool app thing that you want. You can just link those up here. It's going to be a link, title, and an image. Uh, and that is pretty much it. Between those couple of areas, um, you'll be able to manage your own podcast. The RSS feed kind of takes care of all that heavy lifting. Uh, it's pretty nice in that the player, and let me mute this, this player will play in between page loads. And it will know what episode you're on when you're playing it and will talk about that player accordingly which is pretty cool. Next, if you want to start customizing the layout or the theme in any way, it's a starter kit. You can do whatever you want to it. There's no limit. So if you go ahead and open the code, I can give you a quick tour of how it's all set up. Inside the resources views, uh, you have the main layout, which has uh, all your metadata. It has like, the primary colors, which are set as CSS variables. Uh, you've got your navigation here. You've got the partial for the player. And you can just go in and start tweaking all this stuff. Tweak the, the Tailwind classes. Take out, you know, the static thing. Whatever you want to do. It's your site. Once you're in there, it's up to you. A um, couple other cool little details. It does support... Uh, like for SEO, it will check to see if you have SEO Pro installed. Otherwise, it will fall back and kind of do some basic SEO stuff, setting the OG open graph titles and, and images and all that. Um, this is where you can customize that widget if you would like. If you kind of want to hand it off to somebody and add your own instructions to that, that's totally cool. It customizes that. And then you have uh, the episode layouts here where it loops through and shows the episodes. You the card. You can, uh, you know, tweak the... Um, the format of any of those layouts. And then you've got the components here, like the player. This player is run by um, uh, the player, plyr, P-L-Y-R, JavaScript component, and a really lightweight Alpine JS uh, wrapper around it to do some transitions and to manage the state on it. So there is, uh, if you want to play around with that, that stuff is here in the JavaScript folder. We've got, uh, let's see, actually not even that much. It's just right here. So here's the Alpine store that stores things like the colors, um, the player, what episode's playing, and then instantiates that player. So if you want to go ahead and customize that using the player, player, player docs, uh, P-L-Y-R, uh, right here, plier, player, player, <laughs> dot I-O. Uh, you can go ahead and tweak with this stuff, change out the sprite, change out the settings, do whatever you want to, make it yours. But it is all wired up and you're pretty much not gonna have to do a whole lot besides make the tweaks that you want. So, hope you find this pretty helpful, a pretty cool um, starter kit if you plan to start your own podcast. And uh, you know, you buy it once and you don't have to pay any monthly fees for hosting. So it's pretty cool for those of you who are into that kind of thing. <laughs>